Now when I go to place my eyes, I'll go ahead and set my eyes before I slide on the cape. I'm not going to do the sculpting around the eyes until I get the cape on because it'll just mess it up. But when I go to set my eyes, an easy way to make sure, especially on these dark eyes, is you can take a little flashlight and if you put it back behind it, you'll be able to see where that pupil, that horizontal pupil is. And, and remember, that animals like this have like the horizon pupil, horizon line type pupil. So it's going to be long ways like this. So what I do is I go ahead and I will mark that pupil so I make sure that I am getting it on there nice and straight and where it needs to be and it's level. Now, after I do that, after I mark my pupil and, and know where it's at, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to take my little handheld level. First of all, I'm gonna, my form's level. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put right here in this corner of the eye where the two eyelids meet, I'm going to come on this corner and tilt it until it's level. When it's level, I'm going to make my marks. So this will be the back of the eye, and of course this is the front of the eye, so I know if I line that horizon pupil up with these two lines, it will be straight. I'm going to have a nice level eye, and I'll do it right before I put the clay on. You'll be able to see, once I back that with clay, see, I'll be able to line that pupil up with my marks. And then I, I know I've put my eye on correctly and I'm going to have a nice straight eye. Now I'm going to get some critter clay and I'm going to use the critter clay to attach this eye. Okay, so now I have my lines marked where my pupil will be level, where it's going to be straight, nice and straight. I'm going to go ahead and put this critter clay on the back of my eyeball and then I'm going to take a little pinch and just kind of smear some oops, smear some back here so it has something to grab onto and I'm going to go ahead and place my eyeball make sure my line and it's going to tilt down a little bit but I can see that that is going to be straight with my lines. And remember that eye is set to push forward. And don't worry, that paint pen comes right off, see? So it, it's okay that that glass cleans up nice and once you're all done. But that's, I just make sure I put a reference mark on there so I can set my eyes nicely. After I set my eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of my critter clay and where that line where I've created my septum, 
I'm just going to kind of take a little bit of that clay and just run it down to kind of seal, seal that. Just to make sure it's nice and smooth and to keep things where they're supposed to stay. But I just go ahead and run a little bit of critter clay on that. Now, a lot of taxidermists will go ahead and run some on the lip line. And of course, with white-tailed deer, if you have um, a tear duct here that you're going to be tucking. Now, these, I noticed these oryx, they do not, and even in the form, they don't have the tear ducts here. So I'm not, I'm not going to need to put clay in there or, or make an impression there to tuck that skin. I'm just going to, once I get my cape on and then I'm going to go and start building up that eye, the eyelids. I'm going to be adding clay on here to, so I have to tuck those eyelids, those, that tucking skin from the eyes. That's why you're going to start adding clay up around the eyes, especially not only to give the, uh, the animal some life to it and give it some added features, but so you have something to grab that skin that you're going to be tucking into the form. But I'm not going to start adding that, that clay around the eyes until um, I, I get my form on. Because when I go to put my form on, it would just kind of mess all that up. Thank you for watching us here at KNC Taxidermy. Remember to like and subscribe us here on YouTube and join us next time for our latest creation. And we'll see you then.